Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you this wedding guest makeup look and I created this very pretty berry toned hello eye and I paired it with a dark lipstick. Wedding season is in full swing and I know you have to attend so many weddings this season and I decided to create a wedding guest look for you all. I think this look is perfect for any outfit. Before starting, if you are new here, then hi, I am Nita. I upload makeup, skincare, and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please take a moment to subscribe. For that, go to your YouTube app, press that red subscribe button. Also, press that bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload, and it's absolutely free. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm taking this e.l.f. Instant Lift Eyebrow Pencil in the shade deep brown and i'm just drawing the borders of my brows first then i'm refilling it in using smaller strokes i already shared with you my eyebrow routine a couple of months ago i will link that video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out and i'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no excess product and i'm taking this illegal pro conceal in natural and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined. I love to do this step whenever I'm doing a party makeup. I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime them for eyeshadows that is coming up next. I'm just blending everything out with a damp beauty sponge from Studio 35. I'm taking this Coty Airspun Translucent Extra Coverage Loose Powder and I'm just setting the concealer before it starts to crease. For my eyes, first I'm taking Midwest from my Makeup Revolution Emily Edits The Wands Palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color and that brush is from Puna Store. I'm taking Cheer which is a dark berry toned color and I'm just applying it on my outer V area in a V shape and the brush that I'm using is from e.l.f. I'm also going to apply the same color on my outer corner as well. Now I'm taking Love Tons which is a dark berry color and I'm just applying it on top of Cheer. Taking love turns, I'm just going to join my outer corner and my inner corner through my crease. Now I'm taking Midwest again and I'm just diffusing the borders to create a smooth gradient from a darker shade to a lighter shade. And the brush that I'm using is again from Puna Store. Now I'm taking Top Story which is a gorgeous shimmery uh, gold color and with my finger I'm just applying it on my eyelids. Now with the same e.l.f. brush I'm just blending out the edges again. You can definitely stuff here but you know what I always need something extra. For that I'm taking this Milani Hypnotic Lights Eye Topper in Lasta Light and I'm applying it with my finger. I prefer to apply these eye toppers with my finger only and these are gorgeous. I have six of them and I love them so so much. They are just beautiful. Before continuing with my eye makeup I'm going to finish my base for that. I'm taking my current obsession. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. It just blurs out any imperfection that my, I might have on my face. It fills in all those pores and gives me a smooth canvas for my foundation. For my foundation, I'm going with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Golden Beige. And I completely forgot to color correct. So I'm just color correcting it now. For that, I'm using my LA Girl Color Corrector in Orange. And at the same time, I'm blending it out using my finger. And I'm just blending the foundation using my Real Techniques Foundation Brush. For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same Illegal Pro Conceal Concealer and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes 
down the bridge of my nose on the center of my forehead on the sides of my mouth chin cupid bow and just under where i'm going to place my contour next again i'm just blending everything out with the same damp beauty sponge as I always say, blending out your highlighting concealer is really really important otherwise it looks like a straight white mark and it does not look good at all. I'm just setting my under eyes and my smile lines using the same Cotia sponge loose powder for that I'm using the damp sponge. To set my entire face I'm taking this Rimmel London Stay Match Placed Powder in Transparent and I'm just setting my entire face and neck. I love this powder to set my entire makeup because it does not alter the shades of my foundation and my concealer and it just makes everything look flawless. Now I'm just applying tons of loose powder under my eyes so that if I get any fallout due to the eyeshadows it can catch that fallout and I can dust it off later without spoiling my base. Now I'm just tight lining my eyes using my Jordana Easy Liner in Jet Black. And I'm taking Love Turns and Cheer together and I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line. For that I'm using an angled brush from Puna Store. Now I'm just creating a nice wing here for that I'm using my Wet and Wild Mega Liner in Jet Black. I'm just dusting off the excess powder. I'm curling my natural lashes uh, with this Vega eyelash curler and I'm just applying a coat of mascara. This is my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners with my Wet and Wild highlighter in Precious Petals. For my falsies, I'm going with these Adele Fox Mink Lashes in 811. These are my favorite. And here is the final eye look. I'm going to finish my face makeup. For that, first I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Duo Face Sculpt. And with this angled brush from Punasto, I'm just contouring the parameters of my face like the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, jawline to hide all those double chins and my nose and to contour my nose i'm using an angled brush angled brush sorry an eyeshadow brush for my blush i'm taking this fit me blush in rose and with this stippling brush from wet and wild i'm just applying it on my cheeks i'm using the same wet and wild highlighter in precious petals and with this fan brush from Punasto, I'm just hitting the high points of my face like my cheekbones, chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, also the tip of my nose and the sides of my forehead to have that overall glow. I'm just setting my entire makeup using this L'Oreal 2 Match Lumi Makeup Setting Spray. For my lips, I'm going with this Maybelline Ink Matte Lipstick in the shade Voyager. This color is, oh my god, it's my favorite. And that's pretty much it. And here is the final look. I love the way it turned out. It is so glam yet so wearable at the same time. Please let me know your thoughts about this look in the comment section down below. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please go ahead and check that out. See you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.